Hello and welcome to my The Walking Dead Season 5 review. Today it's only me toast, apparently, because the other guys are obstructed in certain ways, I guess. Um, today I'm going to review episode 14 and 15 in this video, because um, I meant to do that separate, but since nobody is here to review it, All right? I waited and yeah, now I gotta do both together, I guess. So, jumping in episode 14 called Spend. It began with Gabri Gabriel in the church, tearing out uh, pages from the Bible, which is a reasonable thing to do for him, I guess. I don't know. Um, then Noah had the talk with the architect guy, the husband of Diana. Um, so Noah was going for the long run, you know, building this place up. He believed in it. And what Noah wrote down in his notebook that he got from the guy was, this is the beginning, which looking at the end of this episode is actually quite tragic. Um, this episode consisted mainly of the raid party with Aiden, Nicholas and the other people. Um, at first when that armored zombie approached Aiden, I was like... And when he shot it and ex it exploded, I was like, what the hell? How did he explode? But obviously it was... He had a grenade strapped to his armor, I guess. Um, it was actually a pretty awesome scene having a armored zombie but yeah kind of weird um and also kind of weird which the result of that was aiden dying ultimately he was like completely wasted he, it's like he got pushed into a wall so, but he didn't die, like his face was all normal and stuff. It was a bit weird, but awesome scene anyways. Um, then we had a really funny, hilarious scene with Carol and that little guy, Sam is his name, I think. Um, Carol is doing, has one of the, has the most has just hilarious lines this season with the, with that guy especially um about the cookie situation if you get caught you're not gonna like what happens to you <laughs> carol is carol is like uh, she's becoming one of my favorite characters next to daryl yeah she's she's really awesome <clears throat> Um, Abraham on that construction site. These people clearly don't have the slightest clue how to handle walkers. And well, we had the situation of Diana talking to Maggie uh, that the Rick group people become leaders of their separate sections, work areas, because they know what's up. They know how to do things. Um, and then we had the what the fuck scene of this episode which was um, Nicholas and no wait Nicholas and what's his face Noah and Glenn getting stuck in this weird supermarket door the rotating door with four areas which was absolutely amazing to see that it's it's a really weird situation to be in um in glenn's case i would have used a gun to shoot th through that plexiglass window or door thing and not the axe really did he have a gun i don't know um well ultimately nicholas kills noah which was very very sad i really liked noah and yeah glenn saw all that it's, it's weird <laughs> it was insane um in the end eugene saves the day 
in some sort of way. And uh, the the final scene of this was Gabriel talking to Diana. He says, R- Rick, or the Rick group, is like Satan disguised as an angel of light. Well, that's good, good stuff. At first I thought he meant Diana because... The scene just made it look like Diana is the angel of light. But it, he j- just says the Rick group is dangerous. And foreshadowing, no, that's not foreshadowing, but looking at the other, the next episode, I guess that's the the same thought that Diana has now. Um, and, oh yeah, and, and Carol had that little guy with him and, he gets beaten by by Pete and that kind of thing. And Carol, Carol, like, there's only one way it can go. You're going to have to kill him. Well, if you don't play the rules, I have to kill you. That's it. And this guy clearly doesn't play by the rules. I'm not sure if killing him isn't the right approach, but if he doesn't... If he doesn't play by the rules... Ultimately, he's gonna have to go. I give this episode a nine because of the action and that one what the fuck scene with Noah. It was very unique as well. All right, I am moving on to my amazing <laughs> episode 15 review. Oh god, the paper in it. Paper in it. All right, uh, the episode is called Try. The hell? Okay, good. Um, the intro was with that music playing the run mix intro style. I guess that was a CD from Aiden that he listened to or something. Dude, is my hard drive getting? I don't know. Um, then we are truly sorry for for your loss. I think Carol wrote that. And Diana burns it. So she's like, not playing that game anymore. This episode had a lot of the words try, forget, and remember. Mostly forget them. Um, In it, people mentioned these words a lot. Which was (laughs) nice to see since the latest episodes were, were called Try, Forget, Remember. Um... We had Sasha, Michonne, and Rosalina. I don't know her name, but I guess that's very close to her actual name. Um, fighting walkers. Um, Sasha is still crazy. She might die in the finale. People are gonna die left and right. Um, One of, one there were two big what the fuck scenes. One was Daryl and Aaron seeing this woman or this zomb- zombificated woman strapped to the tree, which is probably connected to another group we're gonna see soon or in the finale, whatever. Also, the group that Daryl and Aaron saw in the distance. Yeah, I guess that's gonna happen. And then the highlight, Rick and Jesse having a talk. Would you do that for everyone? No. Then I say yes. Pete and Rick just gonna gonna waste each other. (laughs) Um, The fight was pretty good. And yeah. (laughs) In the end, Rick got really mad. I didn't expect that. Um, if you don't fight, you die. It's not that simple, all right. And Michonne clears the situation. And this episode ended with a cliffhanger. I'm not sure if this situation is just gonna result in gunfire, people killing each other, or if something else causes the final battle of this season. I don't know. But there are people that gonna have to play a important role in this 
And that's probably Daryl and Aaron. And maybe we see Morgan. We we have to see him. And Sasha is also an important factor in this because she's not in the center of this group right now. Yeah. So my predictions for the finale, who's gonna die? Um people most of the uh, Alexandria people that were there before is gonna die. And yeah, possibly other people as well, <laughs> like the side character people of, of the main group. <sighs> nah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess Glenn, Daryl and Abraham kind of are the people. And Sasha. That's kind of my... I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure if, if a lot of people die. We didn't have a finale where a lot of people died yet, right? Well, we shall see. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the finale. Um, in terms of this review discussion-esque style. Which isn't a discussion because I'm alone here. And such sadness. Anyway, um, did I say that episode 15 got a rating of 8 out of 10 from me? Well, that's it. <laughs> I really, I, I just kind of want to see what what Rick becomes. He's mad right now. And the Rick Tatorship has finally had a climax kind of well i don't know we sh we shall see this finale is going to be amazing can't wait and by the time i record this the finale is going to be tomorrow oh yeah so that was my review of episode 14 and 15 of this season of walking dead so thanks for watching this i know it's kind of weird with this concept right now and anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.